going on, Joshua Spence from MUFC here to bring to you a small preview and a little transfer news video in one. Um, I've just recorded one of these, so you know this one, and it didn't go up because it didn't record the face for some reason. However, here we go again. I take two. I'm just going to bring you a small preview of my thoughts on the game against Crystal Palace this weekend and some transfer news regarding Manchester United. Ooh. So let's get started with the game this weekend. The most important thing. This could secure top four. If we win and Chelsea do a job against Liverpool, we will get that top four spot. However, if we've done what we've done in recent weeks, when we're coming into this game on the back of three consecutive defeats against Chelsea, Everton and West Brom, then we could be in trouble if we lose this game. Just puts unnecessary pressure on us. We, we've got the players to win these games that, we're, that I've just mentioned. We've got the players to beat Crystal Palace. No disrespect to them, they will be a threat. They've got the likes of Yannick Balassi. Wilfred Zaha, who we know quite a lot about, Glenn Murray, all will be dangerous and can be dangerous on their day. And Crystal Palace is a tough place to go to. It's an intimidating atmosphere, fans are very close to the pitch. And it'll be, it'll, they'll be pumped up for this, they'll be ready to go. I mentioned United are going to have to be at their very best. But I'm expecting a Manchester United win. I think we all should expect a Manchester United win. They should, after three defeats in a row, you, you would think the, the players will have the, the morale. The personality, the style, the panache to bounce back and secure a good result. Because ultimately it's coming down to this stage of the season. There's no prisoners being taken by the Premier League at this stage of the season. You're either winning your own games or you're suffering. Because it's just how the Premier League works. We can't rely on other teams to do us a job. Manchester need to go out there and do a job themselves. So I'm not going to make a score prediction because I think that that's been jinxed in Manchester United in recent weeks. I'm just going to pray and hope for a Manchester United win and you join me in doing so. So let's move on. To the next thing we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about a little bit of transfer news which has come out of Manchester United Football Club today. It is confirmed from their official Twitter, from their official website, from Sky Sports News. So it's pretty much as confirmed as it's going to get, to be honest. And that news is that PSV and Manchester United have, made, have come to an agreement over the transfer of Memphis Depay. He's a young Dutch winger. He's highly rated in Holland. And he's highly rated around the world. There was a lot of top clubs ch chasing him. And um, we, apparently we've had to fend off the interest of many, many big clubs to, to secure his services. Because he's a top player. He's been talked about as Robin. But let's not go into that because Robin. We all know what Robin's capable of. And we're talking about a 21-year-old here. So hopefully he can live up to his name. Hopefully he can live up to his potential. Let's give him time. Let's give him loads of support. The support he needs. And we'll see what he's capable of. When he joins Manchester United in the coming few months. Woo! Hard work with your hand doing this, you know. You tried it. Ah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up around here. Thank you for watching. This has been Josh Spence MFC bringing you a short uh, preview. Uh, I do think Manchester United will win, but we'll, you know, we're going to have to play with the right attitude and the right style and the right mindset and not give Crystal Palace any opportunities because they will break us down and they will beat us. Oh, and I can't, I can't face four defeats in a row. I can't face the pressure of losing that top four spot. So let's, let's try and uh, win, this, win this game and uh, hopefully secure top four. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching. I've been Josh Spencer. It would be awesome if you could leave a like down below, which is around here. A comment once again down below, which is down here. Leave me your predictions for the Crystal Palace game, as well as what you think of the transfer of Memphis to Pi. And... Uh, yeah, subscribe as well. If you're new and you've just seen my, this is my first video you've seen from me, please do subscribe. I bring to you match night related content all the time. And uh, yeah, pretty sick. That, I thought it was going to cut out there because of the 10% battery thing popped up, but it didn't. So pretty sick. Um, yeah, so please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the very, 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 very near future. In fact, I'll see you Saturday to bring to you my review of the Manchester United game. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Justin Smith, MEC. And come on, United!